In the 1840s and 50s, a subway tunnel ran beneath Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. It was closed in 1861, but ever since, rumours have swirled about what might be lurking down there. Ghosts, vampires, pirates, the lost journal of Jonathan Wilkes Booth. Today, we've gone underground to find out what lurks beneath. Bob Diamond, who discovered the tunnel in 1981. Bob, the process of discovery was a bit of a treasure hunt. What happened? It was treasure hunt and also blind luck. One day I happened to become aware of a book about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln that said the missing pages of John Wilkes Booth's diary were hidden in this unknown railway tunnel under Atlantic Avenue next to a steam locomotive that was lying on its side. And uh, then I happened to go and find a newspaper article from 1911 that had some engineering drawings in it and some hints as to where to find the rest of them. And using this old map from the 19th century, I was able to locate the manhole cover and then with the help of the uh, Brooklyn Union Gas Company get inside. What happened when you opened that manhole cover? Well, originally when you picked up that manhole cover, there was just a three foot drop of dirt underneath. You had to crawl through a space 18 inches high and 70 feet long and then break through a concrete wall three feet thick and then a blast of cold air came out from the other side just like in Riddles of the Lost Ark. While our tour didn't unveil any ghosts, pirates or the long lost journal pages of Abraham Lincoln's assassin, is that John Wilkes Booth? This story isn't quite over. At the end of the tunnel is a wall and behind that wall could be treasure. Bob believes the journal pages and a steam locomotive from the 1840s are trapped inside. He and his team are currently trying to raise the funds and permission needed to break through the bricks and dig through four stories of dirt and debris. There has been lots of folklore, lots of legends around the tunnel. What are some of your favourites? Well, my, my favourites are the stories about the, uh, the pirates being down here during the late 19th century, hiding all the booty that they stole from ships in New York Harbour and uh, that they had a secret entranceway from their clubhouse in a bar on Atlantic Avenue into the tunnel guarded by a pair of seven-foot Turks with scimitars. And you never found any evidence of this when you discovered it? No, no evidence of that, but you never know what's behind the wall at the other end of the tunnel. It could be an entranceway back there that we haven't seen yet. And another interesting story is uh, when they were building the tunnel back in 1844, the uh, railroad tried to make the sand hogs work on Sunday, so they shot the overseer in the head and buried him behind some of the stonework. And after that, they didn't have to work Sundays anymore. So the ghost of the overseer could be lurking among these walls? Could very well be. If you see a green ball of light floating around, that's him looking for his head. Okay, good to know. <laughs> In the meantime, the far-fetched folklore is enough to bring hundreds of visitors down the manhole and into the tunnel each month for a glimpse of the past. We're back out into the light, thus concluding our tour of the subterranean tomb of ghost stories known as Atlantic Avenue. I'm Ella Morton and you've been watching Rocket Room.